Hey guys, it's Maddie from Let's Eat Plants and today is the second installment of Oatmeal of the Week. Since Halloween is coming up, I thought that I would make an oatmeal that kind of goes along with the Halloween theme. And when I think of Halloween, I think of caramel apples. I'm not even sure if that's a Halloween treat, but for some reason, when I think about caramel apples, I also think about Halloween. So anyway, today we are going to make a caramel apple oatmeal. So I do have two different kinds of caramels we can try for the topping. One is a little bit healthy and one is a little bit less healthy. And then we're gonna be using quick cooking oats today because that's what I have. I'm pretty sure any oats will work well with this recipe. And I really want a lot of apple flavor. So I'm going to use a whole apple in the actual oats and then another one for topping. And I'm using Granny Smith apples because I believe that is what is used for a traditional caramel apple. And with that, let's start this oatmeal. So for today's recipe, we will need one cup of oats, two cups water, and one and a half Granny Smith apples. Okay, so our oatmeal cooked very quickly, of course. It's quick cooking oats. And now is the fun part because we get to do all of our toppings. Now I do have two different caramels here. One is a healthy whole food plant-based date paste caramel that I just made very quickly. I do have a video about how to make it. If you guys wanna watch that, I will link it up here. But I just made a very simple batch for today's recipe. And then I also have this lovely coconut caramel that is 100% vegan and honestly, oh, Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is so good. I actually got it like on a whim, just on Amazon. I love this company, so I was trying a bunch of their products, and when I tasted this, I was like, oh my gosh, this tastes like legit real caramel. To me, it doesn't have any coconutty taste at all. It just tastes like, oh, pure caramel goodness. So I really like this sauce, but of course it's not exactly a health food. So if you want something a little bit healthier for your morning oats, then I would recommend the date caramel. Otherwise, if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, then definitely try this coconut caramel sauce. It is so good. And then I also just have some crushed peanuts because I feel like on a caramel apple, you always have like some kind of topping on the outside. Maybe it's like crushed Oreos or M&Ms or crushed peanuts. So I'm using crushed peanuts today. Uh, of course, you can use whatever toppings you like. I'm gonna try this one with both caramel sauces because, you know, why not? But of course, if I was having this for breakfast, I would probably just have the date caramel, but maybe on the weekends, the coconut caramel would be really nice to have. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm so excited about this. That is really unique. Mm. Oh my God, the caramel. I mean, even the date caramel just tastes so good with this. Mm. I think that I didn't actually need to cook the apples with this one because even though it's nice to have them warm and soft, it does take some of the tartness out of them when you cook them. So I think actually next time I would just cook the oatmeal plain and then add in some freshly chopped Granny Smith apples instead of cooking them at all. Obviously the caramels are both delicious on here and the peanuts I think is a really nice addition. It kind of adds that like extra crunch and a little bit extra flavor. So I think I can officially say oatmeal number two of this oatmeal of the week series was a success. I really enjoyed this recipe. If you guys like caramel apples, I highly recommend you trying this out. If you're interested in seeing more oatmeal recipes, I will leave the oatmeal of the week playlist right here for you guys to watch after this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making new videos every week. Not just oatmeal recipes, but also other vegan videos. And with that, thank you so much for watching Let's Eat Plants, and I will see you guys next time.